So a more concrete structure in algebra is a group. So we're going to spend some time on groups, which are a bit more tricky than classes. So a group is always a set with a binary operation. So we have a set with some elements and an operation that can be applied on two of those elements within the set. And a group has always three axioms. That is, it's associative, it has an identity, and it has inverse elements. And what does that mean? Well, associativity, difficult word, essentially means that we can change the order of the operation and we still get the same result. So here we could move the brackets and calculate that first, but get the same result. So an identity element exists. That means we have one element within the set of the group that if we combine it with the binary group operation, sorry, that shouldn't be here, with the binary group operation, we get the element. So if you think about multiplication, this identity could be the one, for example, because if you apply any number by one, you get the same number. And inverse elements exist. That means for every element A, there exists another element in the set of the group B, such that if we combine them with the binary operation, we end up back at the identity element. Then we say B is the unique inverse of A because every element has only one inverse. So, let's make an example for such a group. Uh, it's a group I have thought of, so we have bit strings of length 2. There are four of those, as you probably know. And the binary operation is the binary exclusive OR. Usually it just denoted XOR. So we have a set, those four bit strings and a binary operation. So, first axiom is met, it's associative, because it doesn't matter if we calculate 0, 1, x, or 1, 0, which is 1, 1, or 1, 0, x, or 0, 1, which is also 1, 1. So, this is associative. Well, there's an identity element, and it's the 0, 0, because no matter what element I x or with 0, 0, I always get this element back. Right, so 0, 0, x or 1, 1 is 1, 1, and so on. Now we have to check if they're unique inverses. Well, they are. are. Turns out every element is its own inverse. So 0, 1, x or 0, 1 is the identity element, which is 0, 0. So, this is actually a group with the set of bit strings of 2 and the XOR operation. Well, this group is actually a bit more because it has another feature. I can on all calculations just exchange the operands and get the same result. And this property makes our group an abelian group or sometimes also called a commutative group. So, a group that has this feature, that you can just swap the operands, is commutative and is usually called an abelian group, which is a quite important concept for cryptography.